Melissa, what's the weather? Clear your schedule, it's clear outside. The current weather is 56 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Tonight you can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 47 degrees. It was 74 earlier. Yeah, earlier. Yeah, it is 8 p.m. Yeah. Hey, we're live. Are we? We are live. Hi, guys. Hello. It's Melody Lane. And this is my son, Alex, from Beard Adventures. My phone's making too much noise. Yes. Okay. So today we're going to be doing stackable mugs. I think more so you are. I am, but I've never done it before. Yeah. So, if you're here to learn about stackable mugs, you are going to learn about stackable mugs, but don't try to follow along. Make sure you watch this video in case there are mistakes. Probably. Uh, there could be. I do make mistakes, but what's great about making mistakes in a live video is you learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make mistakes. I said that in the comments earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, that's what's great about mistakes. And shout outs. I'll do shout outs. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna go over in this video, we're going to unbox the stackable mugs. I haven't even opened them. I cut the knife for the tape on them. Yes. So they open easier. Yes. Uh, that's all I did. And um so we're gonna do the stackable mugs. I have already cut on infusible ink all three mugs. And we're going to show you how to put them on the mug and I think how to line them up. So when they all stack, the image works together in all of them. I thought that was a good idea to put them all together first instead of doing one at a time. Because when they're done, they're supposed to be cohesive. And make an image. Yeah. It's like a puzzle. An easy one. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> a really easy puzzle. And, well, oh, I also want to show you how I created them or how you can create your own stackable mug images. We're going to do that in design space while these are heating up in the mug press. Or as you said earlier, cooking. Did I say cooking? <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh. While they're cooking, we are going to uh, show you in design space of how you can kind of create your own. I have a question. Yes. How many mugs... Are, are you doing one at a time or can you fit two or is that no. not allowed <laughs> not allowed. no one tells me what's allowed i do what i, I want just, i, I just you don't can know only do one at a time the mug the mugs do come in a set of four we're only doing three i question. ordered three boxes of four so i could do f four sets of three or I could always add another design to one that kind of matches it. Cut the knife blade with tape? Cut the... Oh, this. cut the tape with knife blade. You must have said it wrong. Probably. <laughs> Almost guaranteed. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Cut the tape with knife. Here we go. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Lori, Sandra, Pamela, Mary, Tammy, Kristen, Barbara, Dana, Joanne, Crystal, Sandy, Pamela, Valerie, Deborah, Cindy, George, Katina, Cynthia, Patricia, Kim, Maria, Betty, Gail, Deborah, Cheryl, Anne, Liz, Nicole, Brenda, Michelle, Robin, Karen, Lori, Tina, Kathy Ann, Melanie, Leah, Maria, Beth, Yvette, Billy Sue, Lynn, Karen, Penny, and Linda. And a huge thank you to my VIPs. Okay. Um, oh, and as Debbie Cantwell said, you can use the large 15 ounce mug underneath the bottom of these. I did know that, that you can stack the mugs with the large mugs but the large mug has to be on bottom because it doesn't stack inside so with, the small ones with what you're doing today you could do two on the large and then one on the that's maybe not no just kidding let's continue on i could do a large one on the bottom if i added to the scene you could always add to it 
No. Okay, let's open the box. Do you need the knife? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> because you used the tape to cut the knife blade. That's right. <laughs> English and stuff. Words are hard. I know lots of languages. <laughs> What was that joke? Some... Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we were watching something's show or something. And they said they know lots of languages. What languages do you know, Alex? Australian, South African, English. <laughs> and American English. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. They come in little boxes. These are really fit in here nice so they don't break. Oh, there's only four in a box? How many did you think there was in this little box? Six. Really? Yeah, Even not, after I said that I four comes in a box. Oh, just like a son. Doesn't listen to his mother. Those are little. These are 10 ounce mugs. So they're great for hot chocolate, I think. Or if you like tea or coffee. Yeah, or European coffee. Basically, just they, they have special. teeny little cups. Oh, these are nice. I did not know they came in little boxes. They probably say come individual. I like these. They're nice and small. Now, if you want a big cup of coffee, these are not what you want. These would be great for uh, kids. Yeah. I like them. They say cricket. Okay. So we need three of these. So I'm going to let Alex do that, and then I'm going to show you. <laughs> he doesn't know this. I just uh, yeah, I'm let no Alex idea. Do that. And we're going to go over, and I'm going to show you what file we're doing today. Hold on, I can't see. There we go. Okay, so if you go to Melody Lane Inspired and you are a supporter of the channel for only two dollars or twenty-one dollars for the entire year. You get over a thousand projects. So I made um, Shirley says coffee would fit perfectly in these. Well, it, it depends on how big of a cup you like. So we're going to go to supporter projects and we're going to put in the passcode you get as a supporter and we're going to click go. These are 10 ounces and I have a you can find this project I'm doing, you can find it under theme, under new, Christmas, and winter. Because what I like about this design, it is not a Christmas design, but can be Christmas. It is a winter design, so it can come up through like the middle of March before you put them away. Uh, so we're going to go down to mugs. Way down here. And for some reason, they are not showing up. Let me refresh. Oh, not typing. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to search stackable as this is another way to search. And there it is. So it's the only set I have a stackable. There are two designs inside oh, hold on. this one. Go. No, no, no. Do mug instead of mugs. See if that happens. Oh. Just to try it. No, I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, was there mug and mugs? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so all you have to do is click open on there and click open here. You do not have to click download. You do not have to click I agree. You just open. And I already had this open. This opens up like this. And then you just hit customize and it will pop that up. But I already have it open on the canvas. So this is the one we're doing, but it also has this one. This one I really liked. This was the first one I liked and then I realized the snowman is in the middle. That means it's gonna be in the middle of the mug and the handle is gonna be behind it. So you cannot see the handle and the snowman at the same time. Maybe his bottom half a little bit, but you won't be able to see that at the same time. Um, so I wanted to design 
one like this that has um, the snowman over to the side. So when you have the handle over here, um, you can do that. If you wanted it to be on the other side, on the other side of the cup, all you have to do is mirror it or don't mirror it. Because with infusible ink, we usually mirror it. But this would be, if you want it on this side, you want to mirror it when we go to make it. If you want it on this side, you don't mirror it. Or you can select it and you can flip it horizontal. It's pretty much the same no matter what you do here. Okay, so I'm just trying to look at the chat a little bit. You guys, if there are so many questions and answers in the chat, so if you ask a question in the chat, make sure you look there for the answer too. Mama Bear says, I wonder if I can just cut this out of vinyl and make cups with it. Well, yeah. Yeah. You could, but infusible ink is so much better. So now to make this, we're going to click make. We're going to put this on the mat. Now you can hide these little things in the layers panel. I just leave them there and don't cut them. Now, if you want to choose to cut this one, it's ready to cut. What I did is I just loaded it up and only cut this mat. So I only cut this one, used infusible ink sheet as my setting, and I mirrored it. And then hit continue and loaded my mat. So the infusible ink is still on my mat. So we are going to unload that. Now, if you have questions, try to put them in all caps so I can, that's the wrong camera. <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. This one. So put them in all caps so I can read them. Debbie says I put my images opposite to the handles so you can't see the handles when they are sitting out as decoration. Yeah, you can choose to do that. It is true, you cannot put two in the mug. So no, they don't fit. Unless you're only doing something on the bottom, but I still wouldn't advise it. Okay, so this is infeasible ink. When you take things off the mat, it's always better to peel the mat off of the image. So he says, hooray, eyes for the light. Woohoo! Welcome! Hey, I'm if not, you... Hold on. Let me read all of it. I'm not okay. a member, but without sounding cheesy, can you talk me into it? I'm on the fence, but I love your teaching style and personality. Thank you! So being a member just kind of supports my videos and helps me be able to do my videos. I'm not paid to do videos, and I try to be very helpful as much as possible. Okay, now we're done with the mat. And it's only $2, and you get a 1,000 files. Hi, Bobby. Hello. So can somebody talk her into it who is a member of Patreon or the channel? I, I don't want to sell on myself. I'll let other people tell you. Okay, so I'm going to weed this way. You can see it has that still there. You want to keep that there. And I'm going to take away the pieces inside. Okay, now here's a hint. Don't throw these away. I save. I don't even throw these away. If you've seen some of my other videos with infusible ink, I uh, use these as to put on other mugs or shirts or anything. I use these scraps. You can make a whole mug, a whole t-shirt, everything with just scraps. So with infusible ink, nothing is ever wasted. Oh, this must be the top of the snowman. So we have his hat. Now, this piece of infusible ink did come from the rainbow. 
So the rainbow, this piece, is like my favorite piece of infusible ink and so I have lots of these and I use the rainbow but I don't use the blue very often so now I'm using the blue okay let's go ahead and put this on a mug you know what we need a wipe can you get a little cloth out of the white, the infusible ink box. Which one? Any box. Just that one that was right there next to you. It's empty. Uh, so, uh oh, did this one not cut through all the way? Okay, this piece did not cut through all the way like I wanted it to. Uh -oh. Mistake number one. It's not a mistake. Where's the end of it? I'm just going to cut this off here. Oh, that wasn't there. Alex, can you wipe the mugs? This cloth comes inside your infusible ink sheets. It is to test your infusible ink. It is not made to clean your mugs, but we're going to use it to clean our mugs. So we're just going to wipe them like this really good. And I'll have Alex do that. had this happen before or didn't cut all the way through you might need a new blade in my machine Probably. Heather says she uses it to clean her phone the cloth And this piece is a big piece. You could totally use this in your machine again. Don't throw these away. I even save this. I save them in a Ziploc baggie. I'm not eager to point out her mistakes. I'm just, we, we talked about mistakes earlier. So there's just, there's a good chance. Yeah, I, I let him know there's a good chance for mistakes today because I've never done this. That's, yeah, it's when you're first your first time doing something. I'm going to cut this off where it's supposed to be cut. Kind of. Not completely. And these, I chose snowflakes that um, were not too intricate. I was still a little worried about it because doing intricate things and infusible ink sometimes can be hard. But this worked out great. Oh, and when you're weeding infusible ink, kind of stuck together, you can bend and crack it. You don't need to use tools. It's more like cardstock than anything else. Tim's asking, where do we get that Zoom information on this Patreon supporter? 
So uh, there is a post on Zoom. You will see all of my posts and you should get an email for all of my posts that I post if you are a supporter. If you go to patreon.com slash Melody Lane and you are already a supporter, all you have to do is be logged in to Design Space. And then scroll down, or you can search Zoom. Logged into Design Space? No. Logged into Patreon. You said Design Space. I'm sorry. I was like, oh, You I do not have to be logged into yeah. Design Space. I don't know if this piece is supposed to be there or not. Which one? That. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like, when I look at so the picture, you know it is. Uh... But these little thin pieces are not. So this has little thin pieces on the edge, and I don't know why. So I'm just going to pull those off. Okay, let's do the last one. And um, there was a new digital mystery box today. If you type in mystery in the chat. Oh, I forgot to say, we're on Facebook. And for some reason, we are not getting... Um, let me see if I can fix that. We're not getting the chat from Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, you really need to come over to YouTube. Let me see if I can fix that. This is the middle one. The enamel pins are 15. Right, yeah, if you're a supporter of fifteen dollars, um, every three months, certain months, like uh, they're going to be sent out here in December. If you supported in, uh, I think it was August, September, October. No, October, November, December. If you supported in the fifteen dollar range in October, November, and December, you're going to get an enamel pin. I have an enamel pin too. <laughs> yes. He has one on his Patreon. And if you sign up for the ten dollars. You get it instantly. Yeah. Oh, it gets shipped to you, not, not, right, instantly. not instantly. But you only get one when yeah. you sign up. And you get a postcard. And did you guys know there are twelve days of Christmas going on right now at Cricket? So every day there's a new bundle. If you type in 12 days as one word in the YouTube chat, uh, you do get um, a link to the 12 days, and every day another bundle will be added. Okay. I think we got them all. I'm going to start with the middle one. I can't see what I'm doing. And you want to do it, whoops, I still have some here. You want to make sure you have all of infusible, infus, infusible, infusible ink off everywhere. Okay. And you're going to put it on this way, not this way, the way it kind of wants to go. I'm going to put this down. And when you put this on, you do not put any down here. You put the bottom right here where this is.
You know what? I'm going to put this side up first. Oh, you know what? Because it didn't cut right and I didn't cut it, I need to cut these better. So I can put this in between the mug handle. So this little part of the handle goes in be in the mug and in, in, in the handle area. The handle tunnel. The short tunnel. this a little taller here to get to the top. I like to get one side in there and then make sure it's tight. Yeah. Go around it. What what other way would you go? <laughs> Under it. <laughs> well, make sure you're not lined up over here. The left. <laughs> you're not on the bottom. Um, the twelve days to get the link to that, you have to put one two D A Y S all as one word, no space, in the YouTube chat, and that's it just those words oh 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 i almost made a big mistake i left that part of his that's supposed to be peeled away i'm gonna do it this way everybody finds their own way of getting this on the mug This is working, but we'll see. Let's get the other mugs on. There you go, Cynthia's. Okay. Up higher. Which one this is? Doesn't matter. No, it's the top. Uh oh. Okay, let's get this straight. Oh, and remember, you can use my code. If you use those links in the chat, I do get a small commission. I don't get commission when you use my code. I mean, it doesn't take away my commission from the link. But if you don't use my link and just use my code, I get nothing. But you get 20% off. Uh, we did not lint roll it. I cleaned it with a cloth instead. Yeah. Why not put one in while you're wrapping the others? So that is a good you... question because I want to make sure that I get these lined up together. You can put cup on the table upside down and line the ink up on the table. Okay, so what I'm looking for is when these are together, 
I want to make sure that the mugs end up together and these are not. If you can see the edge here is not lining up with the edge here when I have the mug straight. So this is why I don't put one in before. You need a mother. Need to. Well, that seems straight right there. Well, hold on. It's a little off. You get the mugs at Cricut. Yes, if you type mugs into the chat. On YouTube, it will give you a link to the mugs. They are in stock. They are not on sale, but if you use my code, you get 20% off. You do have to have $50 in your cart to use the code. These are not expensive mugs either, and it's really nice that they come with a box. Let me see if this is going to match up. Like I said from the beginning, this is the first time I've done this. I need a guide to keep the handle straight is what I need. Kim just got four boxes of the stack stackable mugs. Okay, that looks good now. So they'll be lined up. Except I'm going to tighten this up just a little more. But I know once I have this one down, it's good. The one side. So I'm rolling this with my fingers to get it tight. Last one. That's not it. <laughs> Here it is. I'm going to stack this one out. I'm going to get one side even. Maybe I'm going to get this side even. Just put, take those two down. Why? Okay. I figured it'd be easier. That's the bottom one. It's okay. Okay. Mimi says, would it make sense to line them up on the table with painter's tape and to attach them together and then roll them onto the mugs at the same time? I don't know. That sounds more difficult to me. I just think everyone can just find their what's easiest for them. Yeah. And just do it that way. There's no right or wrong way. I 
I have to take this off because I'm not doing it straight. Now you got to reline it up. I know. Um, um, creative Art Spark says, says, so if you do these, the design inside, I'm guessing the coasters are the same design inside. I got some to make my daughter for Christmas, but never done infusible ink before. I don't know what you mean by design inside. You can't put them inside the mug. That is not HTV. That's it's infusible ink. This will never peel off. It it's dishwasher and microwavable safe. Oops. That's how you break stuff. Good enough. All right. Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> <clears throat> You can use HTV, but it won't be microwavable safe. That's way too loose. Yeah. I'm going to tighten this one up just a bit. With, with HTV, it won't be microwavable safe or dishwasher safe. This infusible... infusible this you safe. can't pick off or anything. You'll see if you've never seen this before. It just seems amazing for the first time to look at this. And you'll see the difference in colors from the scraps on the, the right and then what you'll see on the mug. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going to be this color. Similar. He says, good grief. I, w I would have get just given up by now and just turned the handles to the wind up. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> I, okay. I oh. honestly don't know why she's doing it to be perfect. We forgot to turn this on so it warms up. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to warm up, this will turn green when it's warm, and then we're going to load the mug. Um, while it's doing that, we're going to go into design space, and I'll come back over here when this is ready and when we load the mug and unload it. So I can show you how to do this from start. Okay. Grandma's Gone Crafty says, I saw someone recently do the coasters right side up. Seemed to work fine. We did them. Um, we did the coasters face up. The ceramic coasters cricket suggests you do face down. You can do them right side up, I think. Okay, so here's what I've done. But we're not going to... Let's just open up a new window of design space. Make Which of you are you using? The rainbow. The blue one from the rainbow. Is it called the rainbow? It's called rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, can we go to projects? We're going to search mugs. Now these are not my projects, these are Cricut projects. And, um, uh, up. Did I miss it? Right there, down, no. left. No. Uh -huh. I'm looking for the mug design. Oh, I thought you were just looking for stackable. I'm like, I see lots of them. <laughs> here it is. So we're going to go here. We can choose, we have to select the mug we're using. We can choose a straight edge. That's what I did. We can choose a ripped edge, scalloped edge, wavy edge, zigzag edge. But you have to choose stackable for these stackable mugs. So we're just going to do the straight edge and we're going to customize uh two do not fit in the mug press at a time uh -huh. 
Yes, Cynthia, if you cannot use the sticky part twice, what do you put your negative parts on to reuse it? I put them on paper. Just laser copy paper. Yes. Uh, and I glue it to them. You'll see some videos if you go back to some of my videos where I do that. Okay, so here is the mug press for the stackable mugs. Now, if we want to find an image, let's um, let's go to layers and do a single layer because it's just easier. What do we want? What do we want to search for? Okay, I don't want to do that. What do we want to make? I don't want to remake a snowman. Um, penguin. Let's try gnome. Oh, you know, why do I put spaces in there? A uh, gnome. 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 There's more than one result. Do force reload. Um, let's just do this guy right now. You know what happened to my mug? Oh, design. There he is. <laughs> oh my gosh, he went away. <laughs> Come on back, gnome. <laughs> Gnome's playing hide and seek. Buddy. Come on, gnome. Okay, let's go over here. Alex, do you want to put the mug in? Do you want to show people? What I'm doing? Yes. Um, we're doing the top one. Now make sure that this is kind of in the center and this green part will yeah. totally cover you gotta, you gotta when move you your push arm it. So I can see in here. Look at the... I'm the, looking. You're looking at the wrong place. You gotta look oh, here. I see. I see the infusible ink is okay. That's what I'm looking at. To make Do sure I have to hit that, or it just goes because we put that down. It's going. Yep. So notice, show the lights. Put your hand. See this one? They can't see it. Yeah. There you go. Now they can. So when that when light gets boop. over to the six, it will beep and let you know it's boop, finished. Boop, 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 boop. Beep. Okay. I found the gnome again, and he's here. Let me switch cameras. The gnome came back in. Okay, so what we want is... Duplicate. Yes, duplicate. We need three of these. Um, let me think of how I did this. I'm going to just line these up. I'm going to select these and align right so they're all even. And what am I going to do? I don't know if I'm doing this exactly like I did my other one. We're going to move him to the front. So we're going to click Arrange, Send to Front. <laughs> Great sound effects, Alex. Oh, thank you. I live and, my life with them. Yeah, I've always done sound effects too. So if we want him on this side, we could say something over here. We could do anything we wanted over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him. I'm going to duplicate him just so we have an extra because I'm going to select him. Oh, wait a minute. These are grouped. See all of these pieces are all grouped together. We need to ungroup them. And I don't know why they're grouped. They really should be attached. But we're going to select the gnome, hold down my shift key, and select this 
piece only, not this piece, not any other piece, only uh, one of these pieces, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to slice. So now I can select this part of the gnome and select this orange piece. And notice only two pieces are selected. If you have three, it will not allow you to slice. So I'm going to slice. And then I'm going to select this again and this. And I'm holding down my shift key. Now I can let go of the shift key and click slice. And I'm going to arrange these big pieces to the back. Move that out. When I click this, it selects the top piece, not this inner piece. So I'm going to arrange it to the back. Move that. Arrange that to the back. And move that. Now we can hide this piece. We don't need that. And select the top pieces here and attach. And select these and attach. Select these and attach. And then I like to select it all and attach. And that's it. Let's, um, I'm undoing it so I can, let's go back. Okay. Um, I'm going to make sure there's no other pieces in here. No, I don't know why it's changing to the other color there. Now it didn't. So we're attaching that and that's all you have to do to do your own. Now, if you want to uh, cut out some names in here or a saying or anything you want, you can do that. Now, I did this with a single image like this gnome. You could cut this gnome out in different colors also and put them in here so he's not just white. I just wanted to show you the easiest way to do this. You could do three different gnomes. One yeah. with a Christmas hat. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it with any image you want. You can also just add a shape. Unlock it and make the shape the same size as this and slice through. Yeah, there's no place like no. We can put that in there. Uh, slice through this bo box and then slice the box. There's lots of different ways to do this. So that's it. That didn't take as long as one mug. I thought this part would take longer. To the speed run. Okay, let's go back. Do you want to show this? Yeah, I messed up on the first mug I ever did in training from Cricut. I did it upside down. So then... There's stuff in it, so... Oh, the little yeah. clips. This is not the prettiest mug I'm going to show you. This is made with scraps. I was just playing around with scraps and made this. This is not the prettiest mug, like I said. But there you go. I have tons of mug press videos. Okay, it is done. Now we're going to, I wanna, we don't have a coaster over here, do we? That's what the size of the thing is for. Yeah, but they can't really see it. The handle of the mug is not hot. Everything else on the mug is extremely hot. Here. I'm gonna put it here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the next one in. Just look mm -hmm. at the top. Okay, it was. No. Okay.
think I got it. Now we have to wait till this cools because we don't want to burn ourselves or we can be very impatient like I am and start to peel it off. Oh, this, I burnt myself on this. This I, is I hot. Thought, I saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say anything in time. <laughs> so show the difference between. Yeah, this is what it looked like. And this is what it looks like after it's um heated but it's still very hot it's like taking something out of the oven at 400 degrees you don't do it with your bare hands i have not heard of gnome north dakota maybe i will go through there in july maybe yeah, this is this was really pretty, especially for a snow one, I think. Yeah. Kind of looks like a blizzard out there. Uh-huh. Out where? In the mug. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is for your hot chocolate to keep you warm in the winter. The most difficult part is waiting for it to cool. Yes. <laughs> so if you have any questions. Go ahead and ask them now. If I missed your questions, you can repeat your questions. Did you guys see um, the mystery box? Or the bundle? We can show you the bundle. The 12 days of Christmas. So every day they're going to add another bundle. And... My code works on these to take 20%. Let's, let's see. Let's add this to my cart. Let me show you what's in it. So it has these tools. It has an extra blade transfer tape. I love this thing of flat vinyl. It has 20 sheets of vinyl in it of all different colors. And then it has all this vinyl. So we're going to add it to the cart. and go to checkout i think my code works on it i haven't tried it and cutie is my code please use my link nightbot just shared a link to this and oh apply oh i have to have 50 dollars in my account to use my code it did take premium off so let's go back to the cart we're going to add two of them just to see what the price is if we have over 50 dollars in our cart so we're going to do two quantity so the subtotal is over 50 dollars. it's 69 so we're going to go to checkout And we're going to put in cutie. So now I added the code. And so it's $44. Alexa, what's 44.78 divided by 2? It's 22, 23. 24.78 divided by 2 is 22.39. Okay, so then you get that bundle for only 22.39. If you add other things to your cart to make it over 50, you don't have to get two of them. But you can get two of them. Um, yeah, it says I put tools on my cart and only got 10% off. If you have standard access, you get 10% off. Um, or premium access for tools is only 10%. The 20% access is for materials. But my code should give you 10, 20% off if you have $50. If it says it has it in there. Let's go back to the... I want to... Not here...
Here, let's click here. So you get all these things in it. This is a big sampler with a multiple colors. It looks like black and white and the tools. Oh, can I zoom in more? Oh, look at that. You can see it better. And then tomorrow there's going to be a new bundle. I have no idea what the tomorrow's bundle is. They didn't tell us any of the bundles. All right, let's go back. Oh, wrong button. But hey. Oh, it's ready. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Okay, we got to lift this up. I'm going to move this one. We're going to go ahead and put the next one in. It takes about six minutes for each one. And don't burn yourself. I'm not. Each house is different because this is a very smart heat press, mug press. It knows the temperature of the room and what the temperature it should be of the mug press. Okay, let's see. You're going to do it again. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> I watched it happen. <laughs> There's that part of the snowman. Oh, I'm not going to stack them because to show you, I would burn myself. Yeah. Uh, flip it. Yeah, so it's a little lighter. I don't think you... Oh, maybe I didn't get it all the way to the edge. It is on this one. So if you don't get it all the way to the edge, the pink in there, it will look a little like it's fading on the edge, which I think looks fine anyway. The pink. Pink, what? <laughs> the pink in there. What are you talking about? The green. <laughs> oh, which infusible ink sheet? So I used the rainbow one. This is the rainbow one. And this is 50% off plus 20% off. Do you want to go shopping and buy some infusible ink? No. <laughs> I have boxes and boxes and boxes on top of boxes. Of infusible ink. That's why Alex says no. Infusible ink. And we're going to go over here to. And look at the price of the blanks. The heat tape. Where's infusible ink? Sheets. Transfer sheets. So I'll show you which one this is. This is one of my favorites. Oh man. We have to get $50 in the car. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just, oh, I just saw the one I used. I might need another one of those. Oh, oh, and I love this one. I don't think we have a lot of that one. Um, where's the marble one? Because we only have two of those. I'm worried two is not enough. Yes, and it's free shipping. Here's the marble one. Retro marble. I really like this one. We need some more fi carbon fiber, Alex? Maybe? Here's another marble one. Let's see what we got in our cart. Oh, oh, because we still have this in the cart. Okay, we have enough in the cart. Let's take that out. Oh, we don't have enough in our cart. I had two of those. That's why it was. Oh, I like this one too. This is Inferno. Nightbot posted the link for the infusible ink. 
Uh, I think you can um, use infusible ink and use vinyl on top of it. I haven't tried it. Okay. Let's just, we'll just get this up to $50 by multiplying. I once had all the infusible ink nicely in place with one another. That's like the other ones, you know? Uh-huh. Not an Amway. It's just... Okay, I have a lot of infusible ink because my people at my crafting house that rent it like to use the infusible ink while they're here. I know. I'm not saying anything. Okay, we gotta put our cutie code. As long as you have a place to put it. Which, the, there's room. One of those boxes is only half full. She said marble, not marble. 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 With the, like, little... Oh, and I don't know how many we have. Bowls. I'm going to go back to cart. Oh, uh, there. So the total is $43.84. I don't know how many we have. It uh, took off because I premium access, so it took off 20%. This 20% in free shipping is my code. And then premium free shipping because over $50, you get free shipping. But... Things are free shipping now anyway. So I have two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, Alexa, what's 43.84 divided by nine? 43.84 divided by nine is approximately 4.8711. So they're only $4 each, or 4.87, a little more than four. You put this so close to the edge. I feel like it's just going to fall off. Hey, before you pick it up, take yeah. the thing off of it all the way. So you don't burn your fingers. I did it. Here's the bottom. Now we got to wait till this cools. Is this the middle? <laughs> and this is the top, but you guys can't see. Well, turn it, turn I the need... bottom one to. Oh, wait a minute. The bottom, the bottom one's the hot one, right? Yeah. What if I do this? photos later <laughs> yeah we'll take pictures of it but uh there's the snowman yep they they got it <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the marshmallow man well i think it's pretty cool that's the michelin man let's see what it looks like mixed up not correct <laughs> Yeah, it's a tough puzzle. That that would <laughs> that would be uh, fun to annoy somebody that um, has to have everything perfect <laughs> to put them in the wrong order on purpose. All right, guys. Did you like it? Did you learn anything? Maybe. I like him. I think it's fun. And I like that it's not just Christmas that you can use it all winter long. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to take just... a picture. Oh. He's going to take a picture. Yeah. Elon approves. Is your picture going to have the mess in the background? Yep. <laughs> Kim says, I would have triggered her best friend's OCD.
Okay, today's Thursday. Tomorrow we're going to have new images in Design Space at 4 p.m. Eastern. And Saturday, Design Space class, we're going to do some knockout. I don't know if the whole class will be knockout. I'm going to show you how to do knockout because some people keep asking me that. And I've done so many videos on it. But the recent ones, I don't know which video they're in because they're in classes. And I don't list everything we do in the classes because I teach you so much in the classes. So we're going to go over knockout again. What is knockout? When you have like a word, like I did it in a class where I put the word mom and then I put my brother's name, my name, and my sister's name like knocked out through it. Okay. Like in the middle. I Can we so. see your picture? Oh. I guess. I want to see your picture. Huh. Okay. Oh, we'll show them. Oh, that's a picture. I love your shirt, Alex. Yep, me too. I like it. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, someone said earlier, I think it was Desmondy, it said sharp shirt. And I was going to be like, no, it's soft. It's not sharp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. And I will see you tomorrow and Saturday. Whoa. Do I have alerts when live? If you click the subscribe button and click the bell and ding, have, ding, noti ding. have notifications on, on YouTube, you should get notifications. But my videos are Thursday, 8 p.m., Friday, 4 p.m., Saturday, 11 a.m., all Eastern, and Tuesdays are noon Eastern. So if you can write that down. It's always Eastern. Tuesday, noon, what? Thursday, 8, Friday, 4, Saturday, 11. 11. It's not always Eastern. It is for the rest of the year. For those times, it's Eastern. Well, yeah. What happens when we go west? I'm not doing live classes. Okay. It's Eastern. We're going Always. to Vegas in January, so I'll be missing some videos, but I'm going to try to get some videos to upload for you. Same, same. All right. And you can ride along with us to Vegas. Mm -hmm. We're driving in a Tesla. Mm -hmm. um, that's on his channel, Adventures. Mm -hmm. Beard. Beard Adventures. All right. Love you guys.